Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm trying not to smile because this like bunches up if I do. Um, so I'm sorry if I look like a psycho while I'm talking, but it is officially October on my YouTube channel. I am getting into gory slash glam makeup tutorials and I'm so excited about this one. I've had this idea in my head for quite some time now, probably like a month. I know that there are so many different versions of the Queen of Hearts, like makeup tutorials on YouTube and on Instagram and on Pinterest. Like there are just so many different variations of it and I just kind of wanted to do my spin on things. I've seen this card thing stuck in the skin by a couple different people on YouTube and on Pinterest, so I can't just like credit one person. Um, so I didn't come up with this idea on my own, but I have yet to see a cutout of a heart around an eye, and it's just something that I've been wanting to do for a while. It's just like an idea that I've had stuck in my brain. And yeah, I kind of just wanted to do a more glam version of the Queen of Hearts, you know, the one that is played in the newest Alice in Wonderland. I think it's called Alice Through the Looking Glass. The Queen of Hearts had like really, really high eyebrows and just straight blue on her eyelids. But this one, I kind of wanted to do the same vibe, but I just wanted it to be more glam. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Definitely better than I thought it was going to, especially when I was doing the heart. I was like, ew, this like really looks gross. I don't know if it's gonna end up looking good, but I really enjoy how it turned out. I hope you guys do too. And I hope you guys get excited for the rest of the looks. I have a few more looks that I am like, like all ready to go for and yeah I just like love October it's so fun to come up with different ideas and to like see it come to life but yeah enough rambling let's go ahead and get into the tutorial so I'm first gonna start off with some Elmer's stick glue which is scary for me because I am really really bad at this um, but I am just going to glue the outer half of my right eyebrow and then glue my whole left eyebrow down. I'm just basically putting a couple layers of glue on there while also brushing my hairs upwards, doing my best. I just don't know why I can never get this to work for me like how I want it to. Hairs always end up sticking up and stuff so I just try my best. Then taking some liquid latex from Ben Nye and some tissue paper. I'm going to start creating the heart around my face. It's really easy. You just kind of layer the latex and the tissue paper on top of each other in the shape that you want it to be. It looks really gross until you start like painting on it. I mean, it looks like not how you want it to until you start like camouflaging it into your skin. And this is always the part that kind of tricks me and like makes me second guess the look. So I just have to like push through this and keep going until it looks how I want it to. All right, and the next step, while I'm waiting for that latex to dry, it's gonna take a minute because I layered two layers on top of each other, I'm just going to take this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Beige, and I'm going to put that over my eyebrows and on my eyelids as a base for the eyeshadow, and I'm just really trying to pack on that concealer on my eyebrows to hide them as best as I can. And then I'm taking the Nabla Cosmetics Close Up Translucent Loose Powder and just really packing that on the concealer so it doesn't move anywhere. Then I'm taking the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner with the Micro Tip and I'm using this as my eyebrow pencil. I want my eyebrows to be black so I figured um, liquid eyeliner is the best for that. And then taking some of that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just carving them out, making them very like sharp and precise. I wanted these eyebrows to obviously be very high and very thin. Then going in with the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Ultimate Artistry Eyeshadow Palette. Wow, that's a mouthful. And I'm taking that dark blue with a big fluffy brush from LA Girl and I'm just going straight in with that dark color. I didn't want any other transition colors. I just wanted blue to be the look. Then taking this icy white eyeshadow and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. 
Then taking some of that concealer and a flat concealer brush and I'm carving out a really, really high cut crease. Higher than I would normally go just because I want the eye to appear way larger than it is. Then taking this icy blue eyeshadow and on that flat concealer brush, I'm just going to layer that on top of where I put the concealer. This eyeshadow is actually really, really pretty. It worked really well for me. And then taking that Stila eyeliner again and I'm just going to line that on that cut crease part and then do a winged eyeliner, just kind of connecting the two together. Now with that black eyeshadow, I'm just going to put that on the cut crease with a flat shader brush from Luxie and I'm just going to really blend that out and going back and forth with that and the deep blue color that we used. In the beginning, I'm just blending that out. And just cleaning up that wing with a bit of concealer and now we're going to get started with the face. So I'm going in with the NYX Total Control Dropper Foundation and this is in the shade Pale. It's their lightest shade of foundation and it is truly pale. It is so white and it worked really, really well for this look. I'm just basically covering everything, trying to cover that latex now that it's dry. It doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to go over it with red and browns and stuff, but I just kind of want it to blend into the skin better than it is right now. And just going over that foundation with some of that Nabla Cosmetics powder just so the foundation doesn't transfer anywhere. Then getting started on the heart. So I'm just taking a little pair of eyebrow scissors and carefully cutting a heart in the middle of that latex as best as I can. It's kind of hard. It's a weird shape. And then I'm going to go around and kind of cut out a little bit more around the heart just so there's a bigger gap and you can see inside so it's not just like a paper cut if you get what I mean. I don't know if that just made sense. Then going in with the Wet n Wild paint palette in Bright and I'm taking this bright red with a flat concealer brush and just going in between those slits and putting the red in there. It's not going to be this bright in the end but you do want a red base in there so that it kind of pops. And then taking the Wet n Wild Neutrals paint palette. This thing is essential if you're wanting like a cheap SFX paint palette, especially if you're doing gory makeup on Halloween. I think it's so great. I use it every single year. So I'm basically just taking that dark red and putting it around the heart with a beauty blender um, and then covering up my eyebrow with some concealer before I forget. Then I'm going in with that dark brown and a eyeshadow brush and I'm just going around kind of covering up that latex as best as I can. I'm going to go back over with foundation and kind of tone it down a little bit but right now I'm just trying to get as much color as I can on there. Okay, and now to tone it down, I'm taking that foundation on the Beauty Blender and just kind of going around the edges, cleaning it up a bit, making it less large, I guess. And I didn't really know what to do with this eye, so I just took the icy blue eyeshadow and I'm just going to cover my whole lid, basically the whole inside of that heart, just to kind of match the other eye. And then taking the Ben Nye Dark Blood, I'm going to take a little stipple sponge and just go all around the heart. This is where it kind of makes it look more realistic. It hides all the flaws. It's basically like glitter, but for SFX makeup. Look at that. Then I'm taking some black eyeshadow on a concealer brush and I'm just going around the edges kind of just to create some depth and so you can see where those slits are, make them a little bit more noticeable. Then taking this Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu eyeshadow in Goth Tears and adding some glitter to the look because what is Halloween makeup without glitter, am I right? I'm just kind of smudging it all over that other eye. 
and taking this white eyeliner by LA Girl and I'm just going to waterline my eyes and also bring it down on my right eye just a little bit to enlarge the eye and then taking that black eyeshadow on a little flat concealer brush and going just below that white eyeliner just to create the appearance of a really big eye and then going in with that dark blue and just really blending it out really low and then taking the Stila eyeliner that I used before and I'm creating some fake lashes starting at that new lower lash line And taking the BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer in Golden Gal, and I'm just putting this on my cheekbone just to give myself a little bit of definition. And then taking the Jane Cosmetics Berry Bouquet Blush and adding a lot of blush to that cheek. And then adding some highlight, I'm using the Nabla Cosmetics Highlight in Wave. And then taking some of that dark blood on a tiny concealer brush and I'm going in between the slits. I waited till the last minute to do this because putting the dark blood on the inside kind of makes everything slippery and just really messy and I don't like the feeling of it so I waited till the last minute. Alright and now I'm taking the Queen of Hearts card and just another random card. I'm just going to use the back of it and I'm cutting out the shape of the heart so I can just stick it right there in the slit and I also used liquid latex to stick them together so they wouldn't fall out and then adding a little bit of dark blood around the edges just to make it look a little bit more realistic all right and then taking the lime crime Venus XL palette and I'm just taking this dark red called Aphrodite on a eyeshadow brush and I'm just kind of creating a heart shape around my lips I just wanted it to be very blended out and I'm taking the the bomb meet matte hues lipstick in loyal and I'm just kind of creating a heart shape I didn't want it to be too precise and then I'm taking some dark blood mixed with the liquid lipstick and just going around my lips with that stipple sponge Okay everyone, that is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the first official Halloween makeup tutorial video on my channel this year. It was so much fun to create this and I can't wait to do other tutorials as well. As always, if you guys have ideas, I'm always looking for new ideas and if one idea is cooler than the one that I already have, I'm gonna switch it out and do it. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.